sir today our topic is first trip uh, for a type 2 grammar now uh, our team members are me kanchan tontubai gostav sarkar monjit monjit pal arjun bisas and krishnan shankar mondal uh, so now let's talk about today's contents uh, which includes introduction what is cfl diagram of cfl what is push down automata what is parse tree and some example of parse trees uh, and conclusion next slide please okay so uh, what is type 2 grammar type 2 grammar is a uh, type 2 grammar or context free grammar which uh, which are generated by context free languages this languages that is generated by the grammar is recognized by push down automata it's must be in type 1 and um, uh, you can see the here here are some examples of uh, type 2 grammar now next slide please go to so what is cfl cfl are context free language are generated by context free grammars uh, the set of all context free languages is identical to the set of languages accepted by push down automata and the set of regular languages is a subset of context free language an inputted language is accepted by a uh, computational model if it runs through the model and end in a accepting final state so um, next slide please go stop sir you can see here is a here we have drawn a diagram of cfl uh, that's all from my side now my uh, now my friend krishnandu will continue from the next slide thank you kanchan now i am going to discuss about what is push down automata a push down automata is a way to implement a context free grammar in a similar way we design dfa for a regular grammar A DFA can remember a finite amount of information, but a PDA can remember an infinite amount of information, as we know. Basically, a push-down automata is finite state automata machine plus a stack. A push-down automata has three components: an input tape, a control unit, and stack of and stack with infinite size. The stack head sees the top symbols of the stack. No. Now, it can be formally described as a seven tuple. A PDA can be formally described as a seven tuple. So, Q is the finite number of states, and its input alphabet A is stack numbers, and delta is transition functions. Q zero is the initial state, and I is the initial stack top symbol. F is a state of accepting states. Now for second slide. The topic is what is parse tree. Parse tree is the graphical representation of symbol. The symbol can be terminal or non-terminal. In parsing, the string is derived using the start symbol. The root of the parse tree is start symbol. It is the graphic representation of symbol that can be terminal or non-terminal. Parse tree follows the pre pre precedence of operators. The deepest subtree tra traverses first, so the operator in the present node has less precedence over the operator in subtree. The parse tree follows three points. Let's see the points. That all first one is all leaf nodes have to be terminal. All interior nodes need to be non-terminals, and in order uh, travels gives original input string. Thank you. That's all from my side. Now my next team member will discuss further. good evening sir here i will discuss about uh, the example of parse tree let take an example for production rules s notes denotes s a b and a denotes a b denotes b so this is the example where s is the root or node s is the left and b is the rightmost node from a derive small a and from capital b derive small b now moving on to the next slide this is the actual example of the parse tree for type 2 grammar here we have taken the An ambiguous grammar that is the type two type two grammar. This is the grammar from S notes. It derives B B A A, and this as follows. Let the string will be double B double A B A B A. We have to find the left most derivation, right most derivation, and parse tree. Moving on to the next slide. This is the left most derivation. From S we have derived B B. So using capital B we will derive the small B double B. Now here the capital B will be replaced by the capital S, and similarly, uh, small a and then 
it will be capital S. By using, we will get this double B, double M, and capital S. Now, here the capital S will be replaced by capital B. In this way, we will derive that using capital B to small a, we will get this is the leftmost derivation. That is B, B, A, B, A, B, A. And for this, the rightmost derivation will be like this. Here, the double B will be replaced by the capital single S. Now, here S. Now, S will be again replaced by capital B. In this way, we will get that using B, A, double B, double A, B, A, B, A. This is the rightmost derivation. Now, moving on to the next slide. So, this is the part three derivation for example one. Here, actual node is the S node. From We get small b as the leftmost and capital B is the rightmost. From capital B, we will get B, B and B. Here, this capital B gives this ultimate node, A. And from this B, we get A and S. Now, this S becomes the node. We will get this B and B. In this way, we get the parts three derivation. So, that's from all my side. Now, my next team member, auditor will continue. Good evening, sir. Uh, myself, Aditro. Uh, I am going to discuss some properties of parse tree. Uh, so, root node of a parse tree is the start symbol of the grammar. Each leaf node of a parse tree represents a terminal symbol. Some yield of parse tree are concatenating the leaves of a par parse tree from the left produces a string of terminals. The string of terminals is also called yield of parse tree. Now for the parse tree given in the previous slide, consider the grammar S equal to A1B, A equal to 0A, epsilon, B equal to 0B, slash 1B, slash epsilon. Now for the string W equal to 00101, we will find leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation and parse tree. So the process of deriving a string by expanding the rightmost non-terminal at each step is called rightmost derivation. Similarly, the process of deriving a string by expanding the leftmost non-terminal at each step is called leftmost derivation. The geometrical representation of leftmost derivation is called as leftmost derivation tree. In this slide, we can see the leftmost and rightmost derivation. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.